Huh? Then shall you know. Then shall you know that I am He. Jesus said that I am He, and that I do nothing. Now wait a minute. I do a little bit. Nothing. nothing. I do what? I do nothing of myself. No, I walked on water on my own. I do nothing of myself. I turn water into wine on my own. I do nothing of myself. No, I'm the resurrection. My flesh is the resurrection. I do nothing of myself. No, my flesh is the resurrection. I do nothing of myself. I can do anything I want. I do nothing of myself. I can raise Lazarus. I do nothing of myself. No, my flesh make apostles. I do nothing of myself. Right. My flesh, my flesh make a pasta. I do nothing of myself. I do a little bit. Nothing of myself. No, I created the world. I do, I do nothing of myself. But the book says in the beginning was the world, and the world was with God, and the world was God. And the world, he was in the world, and the world was made by him. That's right. That's right. That's right. right. You're getting me. That's right. He was Go in ahead, the world. Go he ahead. was in the world. Go ahead. And the world was, was made, made by, by him. him. But Jesus said, I do nothing of myself. He was in the world. And the world was made by him. I do nothing of myself. He was in the world. And the world was made by him. I do nothing of myself. He was in the world. And the world was made by him. I do nothing of myself. That flesh and blood didn't make nothing. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. nothing. nothing of myself. Manuel. Flesh and blood ain't make nothing. 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 That's right. Nothing. So when a book says he was in the world, the question is, where was he? That's right. Where was he? Where was the he? That's right. Mm. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Where was he at? That's Go right. ahead. Barely was foreordained. That's right. He was in the world, and the world was made by him. By him. The world was made by the he. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. He was in the world, and the world was made by him. By him. Huh? All right, let's get this. Let me, let me, let me reverse that. Not made by he. That's right. It was he that was in the world. That's right. That's right. But it was the him that made the world. That's right. All things were made by him. See, That's he right. was in the world. That's right. That's right. But it was the him that made it. That's right. That's it. Why? Because the him was a greater nature right. than he. All right. Let me show you in the Old Testament, Wonderful. Isaiah 53. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The letter. I want to work on the letter, the language. The language. Isaiah chapter 53, beginning verse 1. What happened? Who hath believed our report? And, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? What is it? For he. He. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's, it. That's, it. That's, it. That's, it. That's right. That's right. He, he shall grow up. Shall grow up. Up before B. For him, him, him. Go to the New Testament and read that again. Amen. He was in the world. He was in the world. That's it. All things were made by him. All things were made by him. He was in the world. He was in the world. He was in the world. That's right. And the world was made, was made, made by, by him. him. He was in the world. And the world, and the world made by God. was made by, by him. That's him. Right. him was in Isaiah said, For he, he shall grow up. Shall grow up. Up before, before him, him, him. him. That's right. and the he will grow up before him as, as a as tender plant, a tender plant, and as and a root, as a root out of a dry ground. He was in his wonderful, sir. wonderful, sir. it's wonderful, brother. Wonderful. Here you had him, was in his. wonderful, him. Overshadowed the woman. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, Pop. Are you listening? Go ahead, man. Come here, Sister Jenny. Go ahead, sir. Glory to God. Come on, Sister Jenny. Come on up. Here you had him. Him. Overshadow the woman. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm talking? <laughs> he will grow up before, before him. Him. Before him. him overshadows Mary right. and created the holy thing and the holy thing was the he that got there from him. That's right. And then when she birthed, he mm. That's right. Him was in he. That's right. That's right. That's it. That's it, Pops. He that came out the womb couldn't do nothing on his own because he needed him. That's right. That's God. it. Go ahead, brother. You That's understand? It. Go ahead. He needed him. Wonderful teacher. For he shall grow up. When he died, him, him come out. Yes, yes, Go to the lower parts of the earth. That's right. That's right. That's right. Then he that had no life laid it with flesh and bones. That's right. Amen. After 72 hours was over, him. Got back that, got back in it that also was called he. 
and he took the flesh and bones back on and the moment he took it back on now it has a different function he glorifies it and take he and make it equal to him now he functioned equal to him now he can appear now he can appear and disappear like him that's right amen are you getting me? Go ahead, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. In that he live, how does he live now? Paul said, In that he liveth, he liveth by the power of God. Hmm? No. There ain't no son of God in heaven with flesh and blood or natural life. That's right. For but our that, conversation. Listen at this. In Philippians chapter 4, that verse That's all I'm months. saying. That's right. There is no son of God in heaven with flesh and blood, That's natural right. life. There never was a son of God in heaven, flesh and blood, natural life. But yes, that glorified body that is in heaven, that spiritual thing. Right. That has the title son and will always have always. the title and will always be identified. That's right. That's why Paul was able to say, wait for the son from, from heaven. heaven. That's, That's right. right. Wait for the son from heaven. Amen. Give me Matthew 28, 19. Matthew 28, 19. Let's itemize it. Spit it to pieces. Amen. Matthew 28, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father and, of the son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. This is where you say the Trinity is. Yeah. But that's a lie. That's a lie. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are three titles. That's right. That's right. God have a lot of titles. Oh, that's right. Many of you preachers say it. God manifests himself. He has three manifestations. Oh, no. That's a lie. That's right. That's right. God have a whole lot oh, of manifestations. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Father, creator, yes. God, Amen. healer. Redeemer. Son is dealing with a nature that God was in. God made a son and the son was not God. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. God, God overshadowed. Let me make this plain. Come here, Sister Kalina. Sister Janice. That's Hawaiian for darling anyway. <laughs> now, let me tell you what God does. God, the spirit, he overshadows a woman. Come in, Malcolm. Within the woman, a child is formed. Within the child, spirit, same spirit that overshadowed the mother, was in the child. That's right. That's right, sir. Spirit was in there. God was in there. God. So you can't say that Mary birthed God because now you're putting age on God. That's right. That's right, sir. Amen. The Messiah was 12. God wasn't. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. The Messiah started his public ministry about the age of what? 30. 30. Not God. That's right. God is eternal and everlasting. So the everlasting life. Overshadowed a kernel body. Right. Then created a natural man in a body. And then that child was conceived or created by the same power that made the woman. That's right. Then when the woman brought forth the child, God was in that child. That's right. Come back here, child. <laughs> so now you have God. In a child. That's right. That's right. Amen. Now Jesus had to grow. That's right. Wisdom. Is that right? Yeah. Jesus, I said. Yeah. Not God. Yeah. God did not grow. Luke chapter 2. Someone said God didn't grow. Job said he's higher than heaven, deeper than hell, broader than the sea, and longer than the earth. God don't grow. God is everywhere. Yeah. That's, right. That's right. Luke chapter 2. But God got in a room. Right. And the room had to expand in size. That's right. God was in Christ Jesus. Amen. And the flesh took on the name of God. So God had, that flesh.
flesh had to grow. Listen at this. Luke chapter 2 and verse 52. What is it? And Jesus, Jesus increased, increased in wisdom in wisdom and stature. God don't increase in wisdom. He's the only wise God. God don't increase in stature. That's right. He fulfilled heaven and earth. And in favor. And in favor. With God. Oh, this flesh had to grow with favor with God. And man. And man. That's right. So now the Messiah took on the name of God and took on the title God. That's right, sir. All right, listen. That's right. Now, Father, me, Creator. First John, or rather St. John, chapter 1, begin at verse 1. John, Let's break this one. down real quick. St. John chapter 1 and at verse 1. What is it? In the beginning, In the beginning was the Word. Was God. And the Word. Hold it. In the beginning was God. That's right. So I wouldn't say, well, I didn't say that. It said, in the beginning was the Word. Well, it was words that brought the beginning here. That's right. That's right. Hmm? That's right. So as I said before, when you say words, you have words come under various titles, mm -hmm. nouns, mm -hmm. verbs, mm -hmm. adjectives, mm -hmm. synonyms, mm -hmm. antonyms, mm -hmm. adverbs, mm -hmm. various phrases that's used that come under the heading of what? Words. words. God is all verb. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. Why? He's all action. action. Right. Amen. God is all action. That's right. The Son of God was a noun. Because a noun is a person, place, or thing. And that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. So the verb made a noun. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead. Are you listening? That's right. That's right. The verb made a noun. Made a noun. And then the verb got in the noun that he made. That's right. So then the noun said, well, I do nothing of myself. But as the verb that's in me, he does the work. That's right. That's right. All right, listen. That's right. Now, the verb, mm -hmm. which is God, yeah. has a lot of adjectives. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> they have a whole lot of adjectives. That's right. It's called rock. rock That's right. Stone. Mm -hmm. The highest. That's right. Mighty. That's right. Almighty. That's right. But he has a name. Someone say, well, God is called the lamb. No, God is not a lamb. God is the shepherd of the lamb. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right, listen. That's right. John said, behold, the lamb of God. That's right. The lamb of God. God. Right. Shepherd is one that lead, and that flesh was led by the Spirit of God. That's, That's right. right. Wonderful. Sir. Excellent. It isn't two gods. Nope. It was God manifests himself in many ways. That's right. Excellent. Sir. Many manifestations. That's right. Father. Notice Matthew 20, 19. It says, Father, Father. Son, Father. Holy Ghost. Father is spirit. Right. Mm -hmm. Holy Ghost spirit. is Holy Spirit. That's right. The only thing that points out human is something in the middle. That's right. Something in the middle. That's right. Take your time. Bro. Get in the book of Revelation. Take your time. Sir. Take your time. Sir. Take your time. Sir. I gotta find out who is this? Is and Revelation chapter one and was and is to come. Is to come. That's right. Take your time, sir. Revelation. Follow me, television viewer. Right. I told you not to go to church. That's right. That's right. Oh, that That's God, right. you are getting more this time than you have since you done been born. That's, That's true. true. Come on, son. Revelation right. 1 and verse 8. What is it? I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning. I, hold it. I am Alpha. I am Alpha. Right. Alpha. And Omega. I am Alpha. That's right. Alpha. Alpha. Beginning. The beginning. Yes, sir. He is the first. Right. Alpha. Alpha. Are you listening? That's right. Always was. Always was, always have been. 
That's right. I am Alpha. 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 And, and Omega. Omega. Mm -hmm. The beginning. Beginning. And the ending. And That's right. the ending. Ending. I am the ending. The ending of what? Of all things. All things. All things. Listen. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. Which is. Holy. Is his present tense. Which is. That's Father. It's, it's three words you need to know there. Mm -hmm. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Right. Two of those natures are the same. That's right. That's right. Father and Holy Ghost, that's spirit. That's the right. nature of Father and the nature of the Spirit, the nature of the Holy Ghost and the nature of the Father right. is spirit. spirit. The Son nature was flesh and blood. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Listen. Which is. Which is. And which was. Was. And which is to come. Is, was, and is. Right, right. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. That's right. Father. Is, Father. was, Father. is. is. Father, is. Son, Father. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Yeah, that's right. Is Father. equal Father. Father, right. Father equal is. Right. That's right. Let's do the equation. Take your time, Father is. equal is. 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 Why? Because he's omnipresent. That's right. That's right. Always was. Always was. Son. Temporary. Equal son. was. Right. Right. Because that flesh was temporary. And because the Son of Man, Listen. in the book of Ecclesiasticus 17 and verse 30, because the Son of Man is not, is not immortal. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. You better give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter 17 and verse 30, for all things cannot be in men. All things cannot be in men. Because the Son of Man. Because the Son of Man is not. Is not immortal. Immortal. That's right. Jesus, Son of Man. Paul said this mm -hmm. about the creation of the Messiah. Mm -hmm. He was not made after a carnal commandment, commandment. but oh. after the power of an endless life. life. The endless life. Is that which is That's right. Father, Spirit. That's right. When you say Son, Son equal was. Truly, this man was, was, the, was the Son of God. God. The Son of God. That's right. Take your time. That's wonderful. Now we got the equation: Father equal is, Son equal was. But now you got is, was, and is. Back to is again. You're back to is again. That's right. Why are you back to is again? Because is is alpha. That's right. And he said beginning and end. That's right. So if you got is up at the top, the beginning, that's right. and you got is at the bottom, that's ending. That's right. So he's the same thing in the beginning, he's the same thing at the ending. That's right. Are you right, listening? That's it. Father is, Son was. Holy Ghost is the same as Father because the Spirit, that's is. That's right. That's, right. That's not Trinity. No, it's not. I don't even find the word in there. No, it's not. You don't even find the word Trinity in there. That's, That's right. right. How do you do in the scriptures? God manifestation, mm -hmm. creator, healer, redeemer, Amen. savior. Seeing it is one God. Seeing, listen at this. In Romans chapter 3 and verse 30. Seeing is three gods. Seeing it is one God. Seeing is Trinity. Seeing it is one God. Seeing is more than one God. Seeing it is one God. The word Trinity is not in the scriptures. Not in the scriptures. No, it's not. Why are you running around preaching it? That's right. How be it there is not in every man that knowledge. You, you, you better read up above that son. First Corinthians chapter 8 and we're at verse 6. Get this. But to us there is but one God. I tell. That's it. To us there is but one God. The Father. He's the Father. Of whom are all things. Of whom are all things. And we in him. And we in him. And right. one Lord Jesus Christ. One Lord Jesus Christ. By whom are all by things. By whom are all things. And we by him. We by him. How be it? Wait, what, what, what you mean? We in him and we by him. That's right. We in him and we by him. By him. We in him. That's right. And in the other, we by him. By him. That's right. Let me break that down. You got in him. That's right. And you got by him. That's right. What do you mean in him? You gotta be in his will. That's right. And he gotta be in you. That's right. What do you mean by him? The church came into existence through the shedding of blood. That's right. Hmm? That's how we buy him. That's right. He came, we came into existence through the shedding of blood. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. That's right. 
Are you listening? Amen. All right. How be it? How be it? There is not an every, there is not an every man that knowledge. That knowledge. That's right. That every man don't have that knowledge. That's why you got the Trinitarian junk. Amen. Being preached. That's Amen. right. All right. Next question. How did Jenny Summers wrong? Hmm. Oh yeah. They, maybe they don't know I'm married. I'll put husband on there. That's right. <laughs> Try it now. Try it now. Come on back. No money. Mm -hmm. Why? There ain't no name on there no yet. No name on there. Pastor Jenny, maybe something wrong with the bank. <laughs> well, <laughs> I know I'm a son. I know I'm a husband. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't put son. Let me put son. son. Let me put all three of the titles I got. Yeah. I'll put it in order. Son, then I'll put husband, then I'll put father. Right. You know, and I'll write it big. Big. They can't miss it now. Mm. <laughs> Hank, Pastor Jenny, mm. oh, the Lord work in mysterious ways. <laughs> As a gen in the check, keep bouncing. Keep bouncing. That's right. I tell you what, let me just put my name, Gino Jennings. That's it. Get a call. Pastor Jenny? Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Go ahead. Pastor Jennings, I got my money. I got my money. <laughs> Three dollars and fifty cents? <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Look closely at the teaching of Jesus in Matthew 28, 19. 19. Go ye therefore. He said, go ye therefore, teaching his disciples and telling them what to do. And teach all nations. That's what's missing. That's it. That's right. The teaching is missing. That's it. Teach everybody what? Baptizing them in the name of the Father. That word been overlooked. In the name of of mm -hmm. that let you know one name one is name. in ownership of these titles that's right name of just like i own the title father son and husband right but my name is gino jennings that's right gino jennings tell you do something in his name that's right that's it i am the owner of oh. these titles that's right Glory to God. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. Of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. The name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost wasn't mentioned. No, it wasn't. But obviously they knew it. Yes, they did. Because he told them, do it in the name of. Of. Now give me Luke 24, 47. Luke chapter 24 and at verse 47. This is after Jesus Christ was taken off the cross and laid in the grave where he stayed there three days and three nights. Mm -hmm. And the everlasting life got back in that body and quickened it and rose on the third day. And he said, all power is given unto me That's right. in heaven and in earth. And then he gave his apostles his instructions in Luke 24, 47. He says what? And that repentance. And listen, brothers, when you go out, this is what I want you to preach. And that repentance. I want you to repeat. Preach repentance and remission of sins and removing of sins should be preached. How in his name? How in his name? And where we want to start at? Among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. All right, let's take a step to Jerusalem. And in Acts two and at verse thirty-eight, let's go right to Jerusalem. Amen. He said that repentance and remission of sins mm. should be preached in his name. In his name. That's right. Beginning. Among all nations. Beginning where? At Jerusalem. Beginning where? At Jerusalem. Let's go right to Jerusalem. Acts 2 where and verse 38. Where the apostles obey Jesus. Then Peter said in unto chapter them. chapter and verse. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. This is the right way to be baptized. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. How? Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. That's the name of. That's right. The Father, Son, and Holy, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's the name of it. That's the name. If you've been baptized and the preacher just said, Father, Son, the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. you just got wet. Just got wet. He said, do it in the, the name. name of it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Look how much of a hypocrite the preacher is. He'll take your money mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, he will. With no problem. Mm -hmm. He'll tell you the Lord just spoke to me. <laughs> There's $10,000 in the house in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's right. And Jesus Christ said he'd give it back to you 10,000 fold. <laughs> he, color my mama's side, you're going to buy me a Honda. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. But when it come down to baptism. The baptism. He get dumb. Yeah. 
I baptize you, Father, Son, and Holy yes, Ghost. Jesus ain't sure you do that. He said, do it in the name of it. Name. So for you to do it in the name of it, you got to know the name you of it. You got to know it. That's right. That's right. Peter said what? Peter said, uh, then Peter said unto them, repent, repent and be baptized every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sin. And what's the result? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Everybody in Harrisburg and every church under the sun. Amen. They have not obeyed the true words of Jesus. True words. When you're baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. the preacher is not supposed to say Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No. He's supposed to call the name, the name of it. it. That's right. And the name of it is the name of, Jesus, of Christ. Jesus Christ. That's it. When Saul was on the road to Damascus. Go ahead. Saul was on the road to Damascus, a light shone from heaven mm -hmm. above the brightness of the sun. That's right. And Saul said, who art thou, Lord? Lord. Lord. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, I am Jesus. I'm Jesus. Oh, yes. Brother David says, know ye the Lord. Mm -hmm. He is God. He is God. Everybody that was baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. You got to be baptized over. Over again. Your preacher lied to you. That's right. He didn't understand the scriptures. No. So that take me back to my question at the beginning of the message. Mm -hmm. How is it? He's holding a true book. Mm -hmm. But lie come out of his mouth. That's right. You want to know how? Mm -hmm. Because he don't understand. Right. The very book that he holds. That's right. That's true. Don't understand. Same spirit that inspire men mm -hmm. to write this book. Have to get in a man mm -hmm. to preach. From, the, from book, the book and had to get in a man right. to properly explain the book. That's right. This person says, greetings, Pastor Jennings. I have a question. Number one, please, what is the meaning of Jesus Christ sitting on the right hand of God? <laughs> Very good question. Now, <clears throat> when you look at that scripture, logically, without God, right away an infidel, Look at me, and then look at Williams on my right hand. So right away, they think it's two. Right hand in the Bible means power. Let's get the Old Testament, then we get the New Testament, and I'll show you what the right hand means. All right. Exodus chapter 15, we'll start at verse 2. All right. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. And my song. And my song. Now at verse 6. All right. Thy right hand, O Lord. Thy right hand. O oh Lord, is become glorious. Is become glorious. Now yeah. hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it now. Hold it. I don't want you to think literally. That's mean God, literal right hand. Right. Everything about God is glorious. Right. But when it said thy right hand, O oh Lord, is become glorious. In power. In what? In power. That's what the right hand means. All right. Thy right hand, thy right hand, right hand O oh Lord, has dashed in pieces the enemy. You see, by God's power, he come along and that's his enemy's defeases. That's right. Uh -huh. And in the greatness of thy excellence. And in the greatness of thine excellence. Thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. All right. All right. Let's get the book of Acts of the Apostles now. Now in the book of Acts chapter 7. Uh -huh. And we'll start at verse 55. All right. But he being full of the Holy Ghost. Now, <coughs> there was a man named Stephen, which some address as Stephen. Yeah. yeah. One of the seven. On the apostles laid hands on. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And he looked steadfastly up into heaven. And saw the glory of God. Now, right then, that lets you know he was put in the Spirit. Right. Because in order to be able to see God's glory and see it right, right. you're not going to see it with the naked eye. Right. They got to be put in the spirit. That's right. Uh -huh. But he being full of the Holy Ghost, he being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly, looked steadfastly into, heaven, into heaven and saw the glory and of God. Saw the glory of God or the function of God. And Jesus. Yeah, glory to God. And Jesus standing, standing on the right hand of God. Now let's just remember what right hand means. Thy right hand, O Lord. Thy right hand, O Lord. Is become glorious in power. Now hold it right there because we got to make the Bible harmonize. Right. You got to make it harmonize. That's right. Jesus was on the right hand of God. Right. 
And yet there's nobody up there with God. That's right. I want to say it again and certify what I'm telling you with the Bible. In Isaiah. Jesus mm -hmm. was on the right hand of God. That's right. And yet there's nobody with God. That's right. Listen. Isaiah chapter 44, we'll start at verse 8. Uh -huh. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time and have declared it? Yeah. Ye are even my witnesses. Look at God talking. Is there a God beside me? This is a good question to every Trinitarian walking. Amen. I got a letter from, uh, I think, a PAW minister yeah. who wrote me, want to challenge me for a debate hmm. on a Trinitarian. Mm -hmm. He said, I, I'm, I preach with madness. Hmm. <laughs> Amen. I'll show you how mad I am. Amen. When I bite you with the scriptures. That's right. <laughs> Listen at this. Fear ye not, neither Fear ye be not, afraid. Nor be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time and have declared it? Uh -huh. Ye are even my witnesses. God said what? Ye is there a God beside me? All right, viewers. Mm -hmm. God says, is there a God besides me? Yea. Yea. There is no God. There is no God. I. I. No. No. Not. Not any. Wait a minute. That's right. Okay. But what the Acts of the Apostles said. And Jesus standing on the right hand of God. And what did Isaiah say? Is there a God beside me? Now shift gears. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. 32 and verse 39. Verse 39. Amen. Uh -huh. See now that I. See God talking again. Hallelujah. You know I love to hear what God has to say. That's, That's right. right. When you hear what God has to say, everybody else might as well be quiet. That's right. right. Yeah. See now that I. See now that I. Even I. Even I. Am He. Am He. And there is no and God. There is no God with with me. with me with 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 me with right with with me. There is no God with them. With me. So when Stephen saw Jesus standing, standing on the right, right hand of God. God. He was looking at Jesus in the power of the Spirit of God. That's right. That's what that means. That's right. The reason why he was on the right hand, not that he was standing on next to somebody else. Right. Because there's no God with him. That's right. But he saw Jesus standing in the power of the Spirit and the power of his might. That's Finish right. Finish up the book of Acts of the Apostles, because I want you to know at, uh, when Stephen concluded who he was looking at. Acts 7 and verse 59. All right. And they stoned Stephen. Glory to God. They stoned. Brother Stephen, calling, calling upon God and saying, and saying, Lord Jesus. Amen. But first he said he saw what? Saw Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Thank God, but when the revelation came, and, they and the scripture was made plain now, and they stoned Stephen, they calling, stoned Stephen, calling upon God, calling on the one he was looking at, and saying, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ is God. That's right. Yeah. That's right. If Jesus Christ wasn't God, you wouldn't call him by such a name. Right. So that's what the right hand means. Right hand means power, right hand means majesty. Yeah, like in the book of Revelation. Yeah. I believe the apostle John saw the seven golden candlesticks and then he saw the seven stars, yeah. which were the seven messengers, which were the preachers or the angels sent to the seven churches of Asia. But the apostle said the seven stars was in the right hand of God, that's right. which lets you know the preacher got to be in the right hand of God. He got to have the power of God or function in the spirit of God. And then you got seven spirits that standing, uh, seven lamps of fire, Burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. So right hand mean power, and right hand mean majesty. And if you want to be on right hand of God, tarry until you're being due with power. Who will take God from on high? All right, Dan, come on. Now, I don't know how best to explain it anywhere near like you do, but Trinity in three is it not a what? What am I to say when they say Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost? It bears witness, it's in the Word, it bears witness, it bears witness on earth, the three, you know, the... the Don't body. worry, I, I help you out. Please! I help you out. <laughs> Amen. First and foremost, brother, you have to find out the origin of the term Trinity. Do you know who coined that phrase? Not the prophets. No. Not Jesus. Jesus. Not the apostles. Let us establish that truth right away. Mm -hmm. Not even the term Trinity is in the Bible. It's in the Bible. The term Trinity 
came from the Catholic Church. That's right. Because they couldn't understand the oneness of God. That's right. And when they read Matthew 28, 19, that says, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, they couldn't understand it. Right. So they come along and say, oh, it's three. It's three. It's three separate and distinct persons in the Godhead. Mm -hmm. Now, they say God have three separate and distinct personalities. <laughs> now, brother, from a medical perspective <laughs> and from a psychological perspective, Amen. if you have multi personalities, you're schizo. Yeah. I don't serve a schizophrenic God. No. Now, to add to the ignorance, they go to scripture that they don't understand, right. what you just quoted. Mm -hmm. First epistle of John, let me break it down. Mm -hmm. Follow me in your Bible. Amen. In the case I got any Trinitarians here. Mm -hmm. Three in one. There is no three gods. That's right. There's one God. That's right. And you can't narrow the number just three to him because he's a whole lot. Oh, yeah. Let me show you what this means here. First John chapter five and we'll start at verse seven. Let's see what is recorded. For there are three that bear record in heaven. Now, not even the scripture says there's three separate and distinct personalities. Not even the scripture says it. No. The scripture says there are three that bear record that bear record in heaven. Hold it. There are records in heaven. Records. Mm -hmm. And what's recorded in heaven mm -hmm. is there are three that mm -hmm. bear record. Bear record. In heaven. In heaven. In heaven. What is it? The Father. The Father, that's God. That means he's the originator of the message. The Word. The Word, mm -hmm. that's God. He is the one that expressed the message because it's the Word. And the, else? and the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, that's God, because that's the anointing of the message. And these three are one. Now, what you mean these three are one? Are one. Not that there's three separate and distinct personalities. No. No. No, no. God is the creator, mm -hmm. and the creator brought creation into existence right. by using words. That's right. He used words. The Bible said God is the word. St. John chapter 1 and we'll start at verse 1. That's what? In the beginning, in the beginning was the word. Was speech. That's right. In the beginning was speech. That's right. God used words. Mm -hmm. He expressed himself to make the beginning come into being. That's right. God made the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. Let there be light. He yeah. threw words out there. That's right. Words. Who spoke? God no. did. That's right. He used words. Mm -hmm. And then here come the introduction to creation. Amen. Let there be, as the Bible says, and the spirit of the Lord moved, moved upon, moved upon the face the deep of the deep of that's the, the deep. holy ghost that's right spirit uh, of god what you mean the spirit of god, spirit of god brought activity to the waters that's right that had no movement that's right uh, that's right you see the spirit troubled the water mm -hmm. that's the holy ghost mm -hmm. meaning spirit that makes that which is still right. have motion and the spirit of god moved the spirit of god moved upon the moved. face of the waters moved moved Huh? That's right. The spirit of God moves it. That's right. Hey, hey, listen, don't you hear Job says that the breath that is in your nostrils mm -hmm. is the spirit of God. The spirit of God. You see, God give our clay movement. Mm -hmm. So when it says Father, that's God. When it says Word, Word. that's God. When Holy it says Ghost. Holy Ghost, that's God. that's God. When it says Keeper, that's God. Mm -hmm. When it says Healer, that's God. When it says Redeemer, that's God. That's God. When it says Alpha, that's God. Mm -hmm. When it says Omega, that's God. That's when right. it says Beginning, that's God. There's a whole lot. Whole lot. To the one God. That's right. The scriptures at no time mm -hmm. address God as a trinity. No, no. When it says three recorded, mm -hmm. that simply means there's record that's record. being kept. Right. Of the one God. That's it. He's Father, He's Word, and He's the Holy Ghost. That's a record, record. that is kept about the one God. That's it. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Trinity was coined 
by the Catholic Church. That's right. It wasn't brought about by God himself. Hear, O Israel. Listen at the very first commandment in Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God. The Lord our God. Is one Lord.